Hi everyone, we are doing a really impromptu in the car as it's happening video today. Basically, I placed a Tesco order yesterday purely because I wanted to get my hands on the new vegan Ben & Jerry's dairy free ice cream. They were showing it in stock online so I was just like amazing, um, I'll place just the, like a little food order and then it turned up this morning and they'd basically subbed the vegan Ben & Jerry's ice cream which I hadn't even anticipated. I just assumed that if it was showing online on the website that it was just going to get delivered but no and I was pretty fuming to be honest. Um, so I sent a tweet out saying absolutely raging with Tesco's like they've really done me over this morning um, and they obviously saw it even though I didn't at them on Twitter um, and they come back to me and were like oh really sorry blah 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 um, and I got chatting to them on messenger and they said that they told me a store nearest me that has them in stock so if you're looking to find Ben & Jerry's at a supermarket near you, so far I've only seen people getting it at Tesco's, so I just assumed I'd head straight to Tesco's. Um, and they've come back and told me the nearest store, which is really useful. So yeah, get on Twitter, ask them where's in stock, and get on it, basically. So we've driven to where we used to live, in Harlow, Essex, and gone to the big Tesco's here and we were looking around the ice cream section and it basically wasn't there it wasn't it wasn't in the Ben & Jerry section it wasn't in the dairy free free from section so then we asked someone because they literally just told me that it was in stock in this store so I thought it's got to be out the back and luckily the guy come back and he was holding these so really happy to finally have our hands on these so we've got the chocolate fudge brownie and what one's that peanut butter and cookies i've only seen people getting hold of these two flavors so i'm not sure if they're the other flavors are going to be in store soon i know there's definitely a third flavor um coming out in uk supermarkets but i don't know what that is or is where there a cherry it is. one as well is it i think that might be in america uh. I've seen one called Almond Brittle, which looks amazing. So, yeah, we've just been really excited to get my hands on this because this has been a long time coming. And I think we first heard about it over a year ago, but Ben and Jerry's were saying that it wasn't going to come to the UK because the UK supermarkets freezers aren't big enough. <laughs> and everyone was just, like, really disappointed. Um, yeah, but I'm, I haven't got massive high hopes for it because one of my friends in America said they tried it and it wasn't as great as they imagined it would be but we shall see anyway. So now we're gonna eat ice cream in the car. Yeah, and um, we had to go to Costa's and ask them for a plastic spoon because we didn't have any way of eating it. I've just got chocolate on my hand. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's dive in. Let's go for this one first. So this is the chocolate fudge brownie. I love how it says on it as well on the top. It says, I'm new, I'm vegan. Um, I think it's really good that they've put the word vegan on it and not just like dairy free or free from or whatever. Because the standard one's just got a picture of a cow on the top of it, isn't it? Yeah, so this is made out of almonds. So that's the substitute. Have you got your spoon? Where did my spoon go? Oh, I gave it, it to you. Mm. That is good. We look like a couple of right wrong and sitting in the car park getting ice cream. <laughs> Uh, at what time is it? <laughs> 12 o'clock or something. And it's not even that warm out today, it's actually quite cold. Fudge brownie. That is really nice. That is probably the most chocolatey vegan ice cream I've tried, I think. That seems way mm. more chocolatey than the Alpro one. I think it was Alpro. It's good. This reminds me a bit of, um, oh, I don't know, like the one that we had at Eureka in London. Mm. It's a bit like this because you can put brownies in that, can't you? I'm just trying That's to get true, yeah. a bit of brownie. I think I've got an That's actual like... bit of brownie in it. Yeah, I, I did get a bit. That's just like mm. really good chocolate ice cream. That's really good. Oh my god. That's going to go down. That's crazy. I don't even think you'd know that that wasn't dairy. They've really hit the nail on the head with this. Mm. Okay. I would give this one five out of five, to be honest. That's so stop nice. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna have to eat it. These are five pounds fifty each, by the way, which 
quite expensive. I mean, we don't buy ice cream all the time anyway, maybe on the one-off special occasion. Um, but knowing how good this one is now, I would definitely buy this again. And 5.50, yeah, I mean, it's just what you expect from Ben & Jerry's, really. It's like a treat thing, isn't it? Like... Yeah, it's not something that you'd buy every week, I don't think. Right, let's go for yours. What is yours? Peanut butter and cookies. It looks like Oreo cookies. Ooh, we weren't expecting that. It's like white. I think I was expecting it to be brown as well. So it's got like little bits of crunched up Oreo in it with what looks like a swirl of peanut butter. nice it is actually quite like what i remember their old cookie dough one to be like which was really nice yeah that's that's what it is actually isn't it i don't think i'd choose this one over the chocolate fudge brownie would you i'm a bit funny i love peanut butter i absolutely love it but i'm a bit funny about it being used in other things like cookies and yeah i'm not sure for me it's quite like a savoury thing that I really like on like crackers and it's yeah. like a snack. I don't always enjoy it when it's in like cake or cookies or whatever. That's nice though. I feel like it would almost be better without the peanut butter, like if there's yeah. one if there's one without They should have that. just done it like a cookie dough yeah. one. I'm still eating it though. It's yeah, still like really that. nice. Now it's melting a bit as well, it's gone like really, really nice. I'll eat it out of the lid. I'm surprised you like that though, because you don't normally like the peanut taste, do you? I like peanuts, but I'm usually like a little bit allergic to peanuts. Usually makes my throat itch a bit, but that that doesn't at all. Yeah, that's nice. I'd say flavour-wise on this one, maybe like a three point five to a four out of five. It's still really good. It's still really nice ice cream, but. For me personally, I much prefer You're the a chocolate, chocolate fiend. fudge brownie. Yeah, I am a bit of a chocoholic, as they say. That's nice though. My all time favourite Ben and Jerry's flavour used to be Cherry Garcia, which had like cherries and dark chocolate with like a vanilla ice cream. Yeah, that was my That used to be my favourite. And I know in America they're definitely doing the vegan version of Cherry Garcia, so hopefully they will bring that to the UK as well because I would love to see that. And the almond brittle one also looks really nice. Um. <laughs> good, good job. Good job, Ben and Jerry's. And I know there's a few vegans out there that don't want to buy it because they're owned by Unilever, which I've said the other day on Twitter, I think it's more important to get behind big changes like this like I want to go out and buy this because I want to show Ben and Jerry's that there is a demand for vegan ice cream and dairy free alternatives and hopefully if they realize through the big demand that this is actually more cost effective for them and better for people's health and the environment um, hopefully they will see the benefits of dairy free ice cream as well yeah and maybe one day in the future will come a time where it won't even have to be se separated as like dairy free or it will just be ice cream. Mm. Thing is these companies are so big as well and it's like a con conglomerate company isn't it? It's not yeah. directly related to the one that no. you know, makes the dairy. But I think it's people just... that say they're not going to buy this, you may as well say like well you don't buy anything really. Don't buy anything, like if you shop at Tesco's then you shouldn't do that because Tesco sells meat. Like I don't think personally there's any point in not buying it like fair enough if you don't want it but i think purely not buying it because of who they're owned by and the, or the fact that ben and jerry's is like a huge dairy company is not the message to be sending the message to be sending is that, that there is a huge demand for this and the only way to do that is by buying it and showing it support yeah. if they don't get that it's almost like proving them right like oh what's the point in you know going for non-dairy options like you need to show support for these things. That's my stance anyway. I know there's a couple of differing opinions on like the online vegan community, but. Yeah, everybody's entitled to their opinion, aren't they? But, yeah, you know. that's my opinion anyway. 
Anyway, that's it from us. This was just the really quick off the cuff video that we wanted to get up straight away um, as this stuff's gone out in store this week. And yeah, we'll see you again soon. Bye.